Does coffee cause pain and inflammation in your body? The short answer is unfortunately, yes, it does. But I'm going to share with you my hack. Um, the coffee I found that I can drink that is low acid and that doesn't affect me or give me any pain. So just a quick backstory. Um, a few years ago, I was having so much pain in my body and I started working with a chiropractor and I thought I just needed some adjustments that my body was out of alignment. Um, but after like the fourth visit, he was like, you know, it doesn't seem like this is helping much. And so he sat me down and he was like, let's, let's see if we can get to the root of all this pain. He's like, you're just way too young to have so much pain in your body. So he asked me, do I drink caffeine? Do I drink coffee? And I was like, well, duh, of course I drink coffee. Who doesn't? It is the best thing in the world. It's my favorite part of my day. And he's like, well, just so you know, coffee is super inflammatory. It's very acidic. And when you have high acidity in your body, it causes more inflammation and inflammation causes pain. So he's like, I recommend cutting your coffee out and drinking some kind of like ginger turmeric tea in the morning. And I was like, that sounds disgusting. <laughs> I do not want to do that at all. Um, so then he was like, well, how about trying to switch to decaf? So you still have the flavor um, and you enjoy your cup of coffee in the morning, but it's not all the caffeine. But then he was like, you'll also have to be really careful because a lot of decaf is treated with chemicals and that also causes inflammation in your body. So he recommended I do a decaffeinated coffee um, that is Swiss water processed. So that's the process of removing the caffeine from the coffee, um, but they use a water method instead of a chemical method. So, you know, I did try that for a little while and that was definitely helpful. So I did that. I went on to a Swiss water processed decaf and I dramatically reduced the pain in my body. So that was the best part is he was right. The caffeine was causing a ton of the inflammation in my body and the pain. And once I cut that out, I felt so much better. So I've been experimenting with a bunch of different coffees, decaf, regular, and I discovered that there's a coffee called low acid coffee. So I was like, well, why don't I try that? Because it's the high acidity that's causing the pain and inflammation. So if it's low acid, maybe that'll work. Um, so I tried a bunch of them and some of the ones that say they're low acid still caused pain for me. And this is crazy because I, can have a cup of tea, even green tea. But if I have, you know, a couple cups of tea or any kind of caffeine by the end of the day, I'm in much more pain. And when I don't have that, I'm okay. But I did find a low acid real coffee, this is not decaf, that actually I have no issue with. It does not cause me any pain and inflammation and that's what I wanted to share with you today. Here it is, I'm gonna show it to you. So it's called Tiamin's Low Acid Coffee and I get the dark, it smells so good and rich and kind of almost chocolatey aroma. Oh, it's the best and I love coffee. I do not wanna give it up. But the cool thing about this coffee is it has, um, it's got all these other healthy things. It's got matcha, goji berries, uh, some rooibos, I don't know what that is, but it's something healthy. Um, but it doesn't taste like, you know, mushroom stew or it, like it, it doesn't have any strange health taste. It is just a really good, delicious, low acid coffee. And I wanted to share it with you because in case you have pain in your body and you want to experiment with this, try switching to this for maybe like one week and see if it doesn't help you with your pain and inflammation. Because who wants to feel pain and inflammation? We all want to feel good. We all want to feel our best. And after trying a bunch of different coffees, this is what I've settled on. And this helps me. I get my coffee fix and I feel amazing afterwards. All right. Just wanted to share that. Have a great day.